Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of iDevice Guide. This is Puneet Khatri back with another video. So, guys, we are just a week away from the Apple event that is going to take place on 10th of September, and there is a lot that we are going to see, and there is a lot that we are already expecting. And in case you have not yet checked the article, the link would be down in the description. We already reported everything that you must know about the Apple September event. But in case you did not, I especially wanted to make this video and share everything that's going on, the rumors, the expected items, surprises, and a lot more things that is going to happen a week later from today. So without wasting any bit of time, let's get right into this video and check out everything you need to know about Apple event taking place on 10th of September. Let's go right into this. All right, so guys, so there are a couple of products, services, hardwares, and the surprises that we might get to know in the Apple event. Let's go one by one. Let's talk about everyone in depth, in detail, so that you know what rumors we have as of now, so that it can easily be compared with what Apple actually announces during the event. And also, guys, if you want to have the live update of the event, definitely follow us on the Twitter. The links will be down in the description. We'll be tweeting live in case you are unable to catch the live streaming of the Apple event. So guys, the very first and the most hyped product for the Apple September event is the iPhone 11 Pro. The 2019 flagship iPhone is going to be announced on 10th of September and most probably if the calculations go right, it should be in your hands, in our hands by 28th of September. So let's go ahead and talk more about the iPhone 11, what is expected, what all would be the features, some new changes in the hardware, or I want to share my views about them. All right, so guys, so let's talk about one one feature each at a time. So the very first or the biggest update in the iPhone 11 that I'm excited about is the triple lens camera. So if you're not aware about the triple lens camera is that there would be a third lens added to the camera of the iPhone 11 Pro which will be the wide angle lens. So in total we'll have three lenses in the camera of the iPhone 11 and 11 Max or 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max while the iPhone 11 R will be having two lenses. So that will be an upgrade of one lens for each variant of iPhone. So current XS and XS Max feature two lens cameras. So they'll be getting a triple lens camera and the iPhone XR right now or the 10R is having a single lens and it'll get two lens camera or a dual lens camera in the upgraded version. Apart from that, also the back panel is going to get changed. So if you have noticed up to the power sharing option that Samsung Note 10 features as of now. Like you can keep anything on the back panel of your Samsung device and it will share the power and you can charge the second device from the primary device. That's the power sharing feature or the technology I'm talking about here. It is also going to get featured in the iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max. By this what will happen is that you will be able to charge your Apple Watch, your AirPods. There is a very less chance that you will be able to charge a second iPhone using the primary iPhone that will be your 11 R which supports wireless charging but definitely for sure you will be able to charge your Apple Watch and your AirPods using the 11 Pro power sharing feature. So guys these are the two major changes or the upgrade that we are going to see in the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. Apart from that also there is going to be a performance jump because of the A13 chip that is going to be the powerhouse of the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. There are rumors that definitely the speed can be doubled. The Geekbench scores are not exactly out as of now uh, there are a lot of rumors about them but uh, I'm not trusting any of the Greek band scores which are already out there this is for sure that uh, the performance upgrade is going to be more than 50% and that is a huge upgrade as compared to the previous history or previous generation of iPhones let's move up next to the Apple watch so guys Apple Watch Series 5 is not much in rumors. There has not been a lot of word about the Apple Watch Series 5 going on. It's just been in the recent time where we got to know from the iOS 13 beta about the ceramic Apple Watch that could be coming out. But we are not sure if that is going to be an upgrade or uh, the revisited version of the Series 4 or Apple is going to bring all together a new Series 5. One more thing why I expect that it should be just a bump or a hardware update for our series 4 if you are aware about this sleep tracking feature that apple is currently working on let me just elaborate a little bit i'll take a little bit of time this video to just elaborate on what is sleep tracking right now sleep tracking is this feature that keeps a good amount of track of your sleep when you are in bed that's a really great feature according to me and i would really love to get my hands on that but uh, I'm not very sure when can we see that. It could be possible that we can see this feature as and the ceramic Apple Watch 
watch on 10th of September which is next week or it is possible that next year again in 2024 we'll be able to see all of these features with the watch OS 5 hitting the market nothing is sure as of now but if there are any updated rumors on these definitely I'll be updating on social media so do not forget to follow us on social networks every link will be down at the description moving up next let's talk about the 16 inch MacBook Pro so there has been a lot of rumors about a 16 inch MacBook Pro since a long time and uh, we do not have uh, the specs or is there any change in design or anything else all we know is that we are going to get a 16 inch retina display in a MacBook after Apple discontinued 12 inch MacBook I guess there was requirement to change this uh, but there is one problem in that because if you check the pro price of a 15 inch MacBook Pro right now on the Apple store you see it's pretty expensive for a normal user to use it and there is no doubt in assuming this that when a 16 inch model is rolled out definitely it will be much more costlier than the 15 inch model so what I am uh, what I was able to infer from all of the data available on the internet as of now about the 16 inch MacBook Pro is that Apple is going to focus only on the professional users might be the filmmakers movie industry professionals the photographers and everyone who needs a high-end device to cover up everything and cover up their entire work and without any disturbance in the flow without any frame dropping everything they want a smooth workflow this device is going to be for them so definitely it's not going to be for a normal user who is just going to do some work on excel some for some productivity work definitely this is not device for you i don't know why will i need a 16 inch macbook pro i'm not pretty sure about it but definitely after i'm able to get my hands on it take a look at what are the specs of the device and what is the powerhouse definitely we'll be able to figure out more and i'll be covering that up after the event is completed so don't worry about that moving up next we have the i iPad. So uh, there are rumors that I, Apple is going to launch a new iPad and it is going to be a new beginning level iPad. So it is going to be the very first 10.2 inch iPad and it is not going to be the pro model lineup. So we already have two pro model iPads and we have an iPad mini 5 in the market and the normal iPad 6 that is also there the new generation iPad and that is what this will this new iPad the 10.2 inch iPad will be replacing. Apart from that we do not have much information about that what are going to be the specs other details about the iPad 10.2 inch but definitely we I'm, I'm pretty excited to know about that as well because iPad with the new upcoming iPad OS is going to be pretty pretty amazing and I'm really excited what all can be done with the iPad OS uh, so after the iPad is discussed definitely that's the end for the hardware sector I guess that's all from the hardware point of view for the Apple event I am not very aware about anything else so if apart from this anything else is going to be talked about on stage that day it's going to fall under the surprise bucket from Apple every event is supposed to have one surprise element apart from this Apple can also talk more about their services that they spoke or announced during the March event the services that I'm talking about right now include the Apple TV plus subscription and the Apple Arcade subscription so these two subscription the price the launch date nothing has been revealed right now definitely Apple Arcade has gone into uh, the beta testing is on as of now but it's not officially available for the general public so you and me cannot get our hands on to Apple Arcade as of now but it's a pretty good option I guess offering a lot of expensive games at a one flat price for every single month that is what Apple is doing so according to the sources reported by 9to5Mac Apple Arcade can roll can be rolled out by Apple at a price tag of $4.99 per month according to Bloomberg the Apple TV plus subscription that is the Apple video streaming platform can be rolled out at a price tag of $9.99 per month uh, I said that's a pretty fair fair price tag but uh, I'm not very sure about the content that Apple can bring up there so it will be very exciting to know more about both of these services and what Apple can bring and how Apple can add value to these services to get more and more customers leaving Netflix and going to Apple TV plus is going to be a struggle for me definitely so we'll get to know the que answers to our questions only on 10th of September apart from these two services also we cannot forget the software update so iOS 13, iPadOS 13, macOS Catalina, watchOS 6 and, uh, and tvOS 12 is going to be announced during the event and uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. I'm very excited to get watchOS 6, uh, macOS Catalina, iOS 13 and iPadOS 13 as well. 
it's going to be a great fun event and definitely do not forget to follow me on the social networks i'll be tweeting live every single update that goes on and you can also watch the live stream as well and if you have any other questions do drop them in the comment section down below i'll be glad to reply to them and that's about it for this video i'll catch you guys later in my next one peace out